Oh, let's fix this. <laughs> let's fix that. We don't believe in hair. Um, let me tone it down a little bit because my sister said, and I have noticed that I yell in my videos for like no good reason. Like there's no reason why my voice should be like up here when it's not even that deep. So I'm like debating if I should scoot up, back up, because I got my good lens so I can get that blurry background, you know? So if you see me going in and out, I'm sorry. I got my fountain, girl. So if you hear anything in the background, it's my fountain. So say hello. Today I'm going to be talking about um, when you can see me. Today I'm going to be talking about periods. Um, so basically, I'm just going to be talking about periods and giving some tips on periods. So I have a few disclaimers, like three disclaimers or two disclaimers and then a, like a warning. If you're not a woman, there's no reason why you should be watching this, no offense, unless like you're here to like, for a friend, <laughs> like there's really no reason why you should be here. I'm just not trying to be mean, but I'm just trying to be like real, like if you're not a woman, you shouldn't be watching this, so just being honest. Um, so my disclaimers are, I'm not a doctor, so you know, fact check you know my facts or my tips fact check them i am not a doctor i'm not a medical school you know it's just is what it is so these are just my tips and the things that i find work for me and some of the things that i want to suggest um out and so yeah i'll i'll have my third disclaimer i'll have my second disclaimer so my second dislikes so my second disclaimer will be later on in the video oh, if you have not subscribed if you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel, girl. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, I'm sorry. So let's talk about cramps. Like you can't talk about periods without talking about cramps. Cramps is like my middle name. It, it, it's just a part of me. Like I am one with cramps. So I'm gonna share with you guys like some of the things that have helped me manage my cramps. So tip number one is like fruits and vegetables. Okay, I am not like a vegan, a health nut, okay? I, I try to eat healthy, but you know, once in a while I will indulge. I have realized that fruits and vegetables, not, not only are they important throughout your entire life, but you know, they really, for me, I find that they help me with my cramps because a lot of fruits and vegetables, if not, I think all fruits and vegetables are like anti-inflammatory foods. Inflammation plays a role in pain. I learned about this in micro, but I am not gonna get to the ins and outs of it. Just hear me out, all right, and then do the Google search later. But it does have a, um, an influence in like pain and stuff like that. So what, fruits and vegetables does is kind of just like suppress that inflammation what i have noticed is that when i eat fruits and vegetables maybe in like a smoothie form um in its original form maybe like a fruit salad i've realized that like my cramps have gone down especially when i have things like um strawberries um, blueberries and bananas I don't know but my friend told me that when she eats bananas her cramps are like gone like that so if you try it maybe it'll help work for you I haven't ha it hasn't happened for me I do notice that fruits and veggies like you can't go wrong with them when you're on your period and yeah and with that being said you should try to avoid like sugar dairy um, fried food stuff like that now the cravings are real for me like I have really big cravings on my cycle however um, I kind of have to finesse my way out of it in a way so I have to like tell myself okay like I can have it but not in excess because sugar and dairy especially like triggers cramps like that for me like I remember one time when I was on my cycle um, we had some people come over and they brought like this I think it was like pie or cake or something it was really good and within like <laughs> girl within like seconds I had like cramps so things like sugar dairy and stuff those are like inflammatory foods double check on that I could be totally pulling that out of my mouth but um but those things can definitely trigger cramps also exercise 
again, I'm not a health nut, but exercise has helped me as well. Like, especially recently, I have been doing like at home exercises, and I used to like ride my bike and stuff and like go for a jog, which I will inshallah get back to because I really want to like do that again. Um, but stuff like that, like moving your body, you know, maybe taking like a nice power walk or a light jog or something like that, or like um, nice little stretches or something. I don't know, but something that will get your body moving can help. So definitely if you can exercise um, and if it's within you like reason, definitely try to like cut a time out of your day to like, you know, get your body moving. Okay, so also another thing that has helped me is this supplement called Ludamax. I don't know where my mom discovered this from. I think she like went on a mad Google search, which I do not recommend. My mom is a nurse, so she like doesn't just like look up stuff on the black market she's you know a healthcare professional so she knows what she's doing um basically it's like a little here actually i have the bottle they're like lozenges you're supposed to take it four times a day um 30 to 45 minutes before a meal and 10 minutes before going to sleep and yada 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 basically you can read the directions on your own if you want to try ludamax definitely check with your doctor first i'm not trying to recommend any sort of pills or anything like that and then you get a allergic reaction i'll see if i can find a link in the description this is supposed to be like an anti-inflammatory like supplement and oh my lord y'all this has helped me so much i remember in the very very beginning when i was a wee little girl like when i first started my cycle i had cramps on cramps on cramps and it was just like non-stop and it was just so painful and i like had to miss some days of school because it was so bad hey guys so i'm editing this video right now i just want to make uh, make this clear that I took things like ibuprofen and Tylenol along with Ludamax so what I'm saying is like maybe one hour I would take you know ibuprofen and then Ludamax along with it or maybe a couple hours later when the cramps come back I would take Tylenol um, alternate by taking Tylenol and then Ludamax again um, and then maybe in between because I could take it four times a day in between I'll have like a Ludamax between like the ibuprofen and the Tylenol I hope that makes sense but it wasn't like I had like this huge concoction of Tylenol ibuprofen and then like Ludamax that's not what I'm trying to say but I just want to make clear that I was taking um, over-the-counter medications along with Ludamax now you can take Ludamax by itself but um, I'm just want to make it clear that I took it along with these other over over the counter stuff. Um, but again, I know I say this a million times. Check with your doctor. What works for me probably won't work for you. So um, also, if you have like super 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 severe cramps, um, maybe you have some sort of um, like issue down there. You know, um, check check with your doctor. Definitely, 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 definitely. I don't want to be responsible if anything goes wrong. So yeah thanks i definitely know it's like anti-inflammatory but it works wonders and alhamdulillah that my mom found it because yeah but i haven't taken it in a while just because um my cramps haven't been as bad as like when i was younger it also helps you with other things as well not just like period cramps just like pain in general um so if you are someone who suffers from any sort of like uh, mild pain definitely try it out Okay, also like heating pads um, or heating patches. It works kind of um, for me, not so much, but I do realize heating patches work better for me than heating pads. And you can actually be mobile with an actual heating patch because with a heating pad, you have to like hook it up, you have to like lay down in like fetal position. Yeah, it's just this whole thing. But um, it does help me a little bit. They actually have like heating patches for menstrual cramps at like CVS or any sort of like drugstore. So if you wanna check that out, if you haven't tried like any sort of heating patch, uh, try it and see if it works for you. Okay, so my last tip with cramps. A long time ago, when I was like in my mid-teens, my doctor, like I went to the doctor um, to like tell him about my cramps because I was having some bad cramps. I was telling him about my cramps and asking him like, what can I take, what can I do? And he suggested to take um, a leave. And I think this can also work with Advil three days before um, your menstrual cycle. I think it helped a little bit, I think. It definitely helped with like my PMS symptoms, but with my actual menstrual cycle, I'm not entirely sure if it did anything. So um, 
before again check with your doctor maybe that's something he will suggest to you as well okay so after cramps of course you know we have materials that we have to use during our menstrual cycle i'm actually really considering using like cloth or reusable pads and here's the thing some of you are probably like oh girl that's nasty okay listen women have been using cloth and reusable items for centuries yeah it is nasty but it's your body like it just is what it is like and and, and that's something i also have to kind of get past because i don't like any sort of you know uh secretion of any kind however i'm sure i can get past it and I don't know it just is what it is it's not that deep you know and there's also the method of diva cups I've watched lo loads of like videos on that I don't think it's something that I want to use but if that's something you're interested in go for it guys you will be not only saving money but you're gonna be saving the environment and I know that's kind of not what people like are into like oh saving the environment <laughs> lately I've been kind of interested in being a little bit more zero waste, being a little bit more like living a more sustainable life because a lot of the things that we use, especially in America y'all, it's just unnecessary. Like just the amount of waste we produce is just ridiculous. So like not only like saving money is my thing, I love saving money, but saving the environment is definitely important. We should be more responsible human beings. I'm not saying that like if you use reusable pads or reusable tampons, you're not a responsible human being. But if you can and if you have the drive to do so, I think we should all make the switch. Um, maybe gradually. Um, I'm going to make a video on like zero waste because that's kind of something that I've been into lately. And I might actually make a video. I'm not perfect. I'm just going to make clear like clear the air. I'm not perfect. I am not zero zero waste by any means but I would like to live a more sustainable lifestyle thank God alhamdulillah like I live a privileged life and I am able to make these changes definitely if you can that would be good if you did you know what I'm saying like that would be good but at the same time I don't want to like push my agenda towards like people who can't live that lifestyle and can't um, you know be zero waste because of financial reasons and health reasons even you know what i'm saying i just want to let that out there because not everyone's the same you know yeah so yeah i hope some of my tips were helpful to you guys let me know what you do um i would love to hear from you as well and yeah that's pretty much it if you have not subscribed to my channel girl subscribe to my channel like this video and i will see you in my next one